I just want to uh, follow up with that. Just a quick follow up. As you know, uh, Governor Bush again uh, continued his line of attack on you, saying you're inexperienced. What do you say to Republicans in South Carolina who say, "Look, do we really want another, you know, first-term senator?" in the White House. Sure. Well, I would just tell you that I believe Barack Obama is a failed president, not because he was a one-term senator. Barack Obama today has seven years of presidential experience. There's only two people in the world that have more experience than he does being president, George W. Bush and Bill Clinton. And today, seven years after he became president, he is worse in his seventh year than he was in his first. So clearly, experience was not the issue. The reason why he's failed as a president is because his ideas don't work. His philosophy, his ideology is a failed one. I also think it's unfair to say I have no experience. I have 15 years of experience of turning conservative ideas into conservative action. I served eight and a half years in the Florida legislature, not as a backbencher, but as a leader. We've been talking about eminent domain recently in the campaign. Florida has some of the best eminent domain laws in the country. You know who passed that law? I did. I was the Speaker of the Florida House. As Speaker of the Florida House, we brought career academies to our schools. That means today, students in high schools in Florida graduate not just with a high school diploma, but certified to work as welders, plumbers, electricians, pipe fitters in vocational training because of what we put in. We reduced property taxes because I led the effort to do that. We brought the Harlem's Children's Zone model into the inner city of Miami. It's now spread into Orlando, into Jacksonville because of my efforts. We reformed our curriculum without Common Core, without the federal government, and in my time in the U.S. Senate, despite the fact the Senate has not been the most active place in the world over the last five years, because I led the effort in a bipartisan way we imposed sanctions on Hezbollah. We got rid of the Obamacare bailout fund. Today we have the Girls Count Act I passed on a bipartisan basis, which leverages U.S. foreign aid to take on the scourge of human trafficking and modern day slavery around the world. I led the effort and we imposed sanctions on human rights violators in Venezuela. So I'm proud of what I've achieved, but my campaign is not about the past, it's about the future, about what we're going to do. And I can say this to you without any, any hesitation whatsoever. I am as conservative as anyone running for president, but I am a 15-year conservative who has proven time and again the capability and the, and the willingness to take conservative ideas and turn them into conservative solutions. 